Hi, Derek. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. Can How you are you doing? Me? Yes, we can hear you Good. just How fine. You? How are you? Okay. Perfect. Good. How about yourself? Doing well. We are um, all getting getting excited for Knoxville this weekend. Um, thank you for uh, spending some time with us here this afternoon. Um, we will go right into questions for you. We'll start off with Mike Hembry. Go ahead, Mike. I think you're on mute, Mike. There you go. Now? Yes. Derek, you, uh, Knoxville was obviously a highlight for you last year. Talk about your experience there, please. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's another dirt track. It's, it's definitely fun with how much the track changes from from when you unload to, to practice and then throughout practice and then the heat races and qualifying. So, or the heat races and feature, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting with how rubber's up, it takes rubber and then it kind of turns into an asphalt track, to be honest with you. Just, it's one groove. And if you get out of that groove, you're kind of, you're in trouble a little bit, but uh, it's, it's a fun racetrack. And I learned a lot from last year and hopefully we can kind of repeat what we did last year and just, just be there at the end of the thing and uh, hopefully we can get a win. Ben Rhodes, a little while, while ago, uh, described last year's race as sort of total chaos once the track rubbered up. Uh, a, a lot of uh, unusual driving, I guess he might have put it. What, what, did it get kind of out of control for you? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I, I feel like that's for everyone. It just, I mean, once it turns into, once it gets rubbered up, it turns into one groove and that's the only groove you can be in or else you're going backwards. So it's always a fight to get to the bottom. And uh, it got rough last year for sure. And I feel like it's probably going to do the same thing again this year. So uh, it'll be definitely a good, good race to watch. And uh, it, it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks. Yep. Our next question will go to Daniel McFadden. Go ahead, Daniel. Hey, Derek. So based off your, your one race there at Knoxville last year, like what are some do's and don'ts that you learned about how, how to race there in a truck? Uh, the do's are get in the rubber when it rubbers up and the don'ts are don't, don't get out of the rubber. I mean, it's, it's such a tough, tough race and tough race to balance because if you, you start on the, outside you're guaranteed I mean you're pretty much guaranteed to lose a couple spots just trying to get in and it, it single files out quick and uh you kind of got to be aggressive on the way you get back in and uh, I mean that's just part of how that that race goes just because of how fast it rubbers up and takes rubber and I mean I guess I could be completely wrong this year it, it might not take rubber and just kind of stay stay slicked off and you can run anywhere but uh i don't know what it's going to do but but if it does take rubber you're going to definitely want to be on the bottom how much can you approach this track as if it's a like a dirt martinsville uh actually that's a really good comparison uh it's really flat it's a half mile i feel like i mean that's as close as it's going to get to to a asphalt track as a dirt martinsville and uh it's it's re actually really really similar all right, thank you. Next, we'll go to Bob Pockers. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, Derek, every time I see Bill McAnally, he's like, well, you know, three races left to win or four races to go, we, we got to get a win. I'm curious mm -hmm. just how close you feel you are to a win. And as far as the last three races here of the regular, regular season, um, how much um, – or our last four, how much do you, how much do you, is there anyone that you feel like you're closer than the others? Um, I feel like Knoxville is a really good opportunity. Uh, we, we ran good there last year and had, we won the first two stages and then got a left for flat. And then like everyone's been saying, it's been, it turned into chaos at the end and we were able to finish fifth, but I feel like Knoxville is a good opportunity. And then, uh nashville we we're good there too so uh there's there's a couple good tracks coming up the one i'm 
circling and kind of concerned about is mid Ohio. I've never been there. I've ran some laps on I racing and it's tougher than what you think it would be. So uh, that's, that's the one that I got to focus on and try to try to get better at. But I feel like the oval races that are left, I feel like it was a good opportunity and hopefully, hopefully we can get a win. Thank you. Yep. Next we'll go to Brendan Carroll. Go ahead, Brendan. Hey Derek. So what is, uh, what's it been like going from driving Toyotas to now being with Chevy and having, uh, now multiple trucks coming out of that stable at uh with the team um it's it's been i feel like it's been really good uh we we had a really good partnership with toyota and it was kind of closing one book and opening another i feel like chevy's been really really good to us from being able to work with josh wise and scott speed and their program and then also just the help that we get from chevy and then also gms gms has been a big help for us and uh, it's always good to have a teammate just because you can bounce ideas off of each other and uh, learn with each other along the way and just, just try to be as productive as possible. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Take our next question from Matias Viana. Go ahead. Hello, Derek. I am Matias Viana. My consult is a uh, uh, what? What are your are your expectations from Nash, uh, Knoxville and Nashville? And uh, uh, is it going to get range in Nashville from the uh, opportunity in 2021? Uh, yeah, we uh, we had really good runs at both those tracks. So, uh, like I said earlier, it's going to be an opportunity race, and we just got to capitalize on it we got to go back to those racetracks to, uh, with being just as good if not a little bit better and I feel like everybody that's working on my truck and shop every day is uh, working hard towards that goal and I believe that they'll be able to bring me better trucks than what we had last year and uh, hopefully we can capitalize on that and get a win either there or at Knoxville or Nashville and if we can't get the win just capitalize and get really good points. Thanks, Derek. Very good luck in Knoxville. Thank you. All right. Do we have any additional questions for Derek before we let him go? All right, Derek, uh, thank you for hopping on and uh, we'll see you this weekend in Knoxville. Wish you the best of luck. All right. Thank you. Just a reminder, um, again, to media, we will 